In this video, I'm going to talk about calculus and understanding the chain rule. So let's imagine your professor or teacher wants you to calculate the derivative of this equation. You're going to have to use the chain rule. Two parts of this, there's the inside, which is the dark green, and then the outside, which is the box, the green box. The first thing you do is you calculate the derivative of the outside and multiply that times the derivative of the inside. Let me rewrite this again for you. Now I'm going to block out the middle, the dark green. I'm just going to take the derivative of the outside. This is very similar to x cubed using the power rule. And you can learn about the power rule on this channel as well on another video. I'm going to rewrite the equation. I'm going to take the exponent, which is 3. I'm going to move it down in front, and I'm going to subtract 1. Again, this is the power rule. Obviously, 3 minus 1 is 2. Let me make that black so you can see that 2 a little bit better. There you go. Now this becomes the derivative of the outside. Now I'm going to take the derivative of the inside. I'll fade out the box, so we're going to take the derivative of 2x plus 1. Now the derivative of 2x, I can use the power rule again. I just want to show you that 2x is the same thing as 2x to the first power. Using the power rule, I take the 1 and put it down in front, and I subtract 1 from the exponent. Now we have 2x to the 0 power, which of course is the x to the 0 becomes 1, and this becomes 2. The whole thing becomes 2. Now this is the derivative of the inside. And I'm going to take that, I'm going to multiply that times the derivative of the outside, which you just did, times 2, right there. Now the derivative of 1 is 0, so it has no impact, and we don't need to include it here. Some of that stuff on the right-hand side, let me fade that out. Too much junk around. Take the 2 times the 3, which of course equals 6, and we have 6 times 2x plus 1 squared. This is the derivative. Let me put the f prime. This is the proper notation now, and this is the derivative of the equation we started with. Let me just review for you real quick what we just did. The chain rule is taking two things. We take the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. You'll probably see this in your textbook or your teacher writes it this way, f of g of x, which is kind of complicated, but that's the way it's written. g of x is the inside. So when we rewrite it, we have the f prime g of x, and we take that multiplied times the derivative of g of x. Now if I go back to the original equation that I started with, here any minute now, if it comes in, there it is. So the outside is the 2x plus 1 cubed, but I only care about the cubed part. The derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. I'm going to take the inside and slide it out, right there. The derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside, just like that. If you're having a hard time for motivation learning the chain rule, I'd recommend two songs. The first song is The Pretenders Back on the Chain Gang, which is a great song from the 80s or 70s. The other one is Aretha Franklin and Annie Lennox, and it's Chain of Fools. Both of these should help you get through the class. I'll give you some motivation.